Imagine that you are riding a car, a thing that you might have always wanted. You can feel the comfort of your chair, the cool air you breathe, and the view that relaxes your eyes. Ah, what a wonderful world. But do you ever think about what happens outside the car? <coughs> the emission of vehicles. Yes, the carbon dioxide causes the air pollution. Apart from it, do you also know that the land pollution caused by industry and mountain landfills can also produce ammonia that is actually very dangerous for our respiration? Imagine, this gas is being produced more and more every day, everywhere all over the world. Speaking of ammonia, let's have some people's opinion about this waste. Uh, thank you, Pak. Oh, yeah. uh, saya mau tanya-tanya sebentar. Oh, iya. Yeah. Uh, Bapak tahu ini enggak ya, Pak? Itu pembuangan limbah. Uh, yeah. Menurut Bapak, ini berguna enggak, Pak? Itu untuk pembuangan limbah, tapi di sungai itu tidak berguna bagi saya. Oh. Menurut saya, okay. kan pencemaran lingkungan. Oke. Okay. Kalau menurut Bapak, kalau misalnya ini menu dibiarkan begitu saja, bagaimana, Pak? Itu nanti dampaknya sangat, ya, pengaruh untuk lingkungan sangat berpengaruh untuk dampaknya nanti. Oh. Ya, kalau dibiarkan itu dampaknya sangat bahaya untuk lingkungan. Oh, baik. Terima kasih, Pak. Oke, okay. let's ask another person. Pak, permisi, Pak. Yeah. Uh, Pak, tahu ini enggak ya, Pak? Ini yang di belakangnya saya kasih dulu, Pak. Iya, iya. Kalau menurut Bapak, ini bakalan berguna enggak ya, Pak? Kalau itu? Itu ya, tidak berguna sih, sebenarnya. Kurang, kurang, kurang besar, tuh. banyak kali larinya itu. Hanya di situ doang, kita nggak pergi ke mana itu. Harus ada tempat penyaringan untuk kebunnya dulu. Kalau Jalan menurut kali maksudnya. Kalau menurut Bapak, kalau ini dibiarkan begitu saja bagaimana Pak? Tidak bagus, nanti kena efeknya ke lingkungan, ke oh. kemar. Iya. Yeah. Seharusnya ada tempat penampungan dulu, baru masuk ke kali. Ini kan belum disaring, jadi ya, bisa campur apa itu limbah. Ketiga atau bisa mati-mati. Oh iya, ikan-ikan yang sudah bisa ada kena jumlah itu bisa pada mati. Oh iya, yeah. makasih ya Pak. Yeah. After hearing all that answers, let's take a look at the latest data. Worldwide waste generated per person per day average 0.74 kg, and that's just the average. In high income countries, they can generate 34% or 683 million tons of world's waste. Oh my, that gave me ghost bumps. There's too much waste on our earth. There will be no fresh water, no fresh air. Then how are we going to live? What about our home, our family, our dreams, our next generations? We need to do something about this useless waste. Well, I'm sure it's useless. What do you guys think? Mm, I'm sure it has another important purpose. We can make a higher and smart technology like Manogy, Biourban, and Smoke-Free Tower to manage groundwater, lakes, and river that we can use to reduce wastewater. Also, using nano-bubble technology to reduce air and water waste so there is no more water waste. Hey, but I have a more idea for you. Yes, it's a brilliant idea. Yes, it's an ammonia. Hmm. Maybe ammonia is kind of unfamiliar for you guys. Let me show you this, or maybe this, or this. You know about this, don't you? This all have a certain amount of ammonia in it. There are ways you can get ammonia. We can make it by combining dinitrogen and dihydrogen in a reaction, which is the most common way to achieve it. Or we can absorb it from things like feces and industry waste. Looks pretty easy, right? Hmm, 
This is also a common substance as lots of industries use it for their production, such as producing fertilizer. Compared to other fuels like LPG and fossil fuel, ammonia is easier to get. Hmm, why not? We can just produce it. Well, there is an interesting fact. According to research in Monash University in 2021, ammonia can be produced just from air, water, and renewable energy. That's amazing, right? That's why we can say that ammonia is easy to be gained. Now let's talk about the price. According to Ammonia Recent Price News, the lowest price is in October 2021 at only 2 US dollar. Compared to higher technology that is thousand dollar, ammonia is cheaper and easier to get. Well, maybe you guys think, how about the other fuel like LPG or diesel fuel? It is actually cheaper than ammonia, but ammonia is way easier to reduce a waste and easier to get, even if you can produce it by yourself. Do you know that the higher ammonia content in the waste, the more poisoning the aquatic biota, and in the end, there will be an impact on humans. So when humans consume fish or other animals that have been contaminated by this industry waste, how? How do we prevent this? Well, according to the research, we can use absorption process with benzonate absorbent. The liquid waste of the urea fertilizer plant was caused by the inefficiency of the urea manufacturing process and ammonia plant equipment, urea, and packaging section. Inefficiency in equipment was due to that the edge of equipment was relatively old. Damages in treatment and in the process was resulted in ammonia being exposed along the river so that it could finally pollute the water biota. The research was conducted through an absorption process using bentonite absorbent which was initially physically activated to open external porosity so the ammonia absorption became bigger. Okay, we have a view about the purpose for reducing water pollution. Maybe you guys think, what is the connection with global warming? It is used to reduce pollution, isn't it? Well, I want you guys to think about global warming. What causes these terrible events? Are you guys thinking about carbon dioxide? Our meta. Yep, both are correct. Now let's take deeper into it. What is the common similarity between carbon dioxide and methane? Do you know the answer? Well, it's this. Both carbon dioxide and methane have this. Carbon emission will cause the Earth to experience greenhouse effects, which will raise to the air temperature and will cause global warming. Great. Should we just stop? Immediately to prevent the phenomenon that all them? Well, unfortunately, it's not that easy because we always produce these gases in our machinery as long as we use fuels that contain hydrocarbons. That's why we are willing to introduce this new energy source because ammonia doesn't conceive hydrocarbons. In conclusion, Ammonia doesn't give rise to the global warming. In fact, using this as a fuel, we can get lots of benefits. As ammonia can be obtained easily, the cost will be cheap, which means it's more profitable for many sectors. And also, this is a renewable energy. Can you guys imagine a renewable energy, low cost and carbon emission free? What an amazing source, right? But, maybe you guys imagine, is this dangerous? Maybe it's good to prevent global warming, but is it good for our nature? Well, nitrogen, nitrogen oxide, a product from combustion reaction of ammonia, is poisonous to both humans and nature. However, this gas can be neutralized. According to USB Technologies Research, nitrogen oxide can be removed in many ways, such as gas scrubbing. You know what that means? 
That means the nitrogen oxide will not be released into the air, and this will make our environment safer to cause the precaution of global warming. So, ammonia is a perfect energy source for our future. Yes, you're right, because it supports many aspects of life. And it's free!